Looks good. This steps over here. Stay right there, Gracie. Hey, that's an easier step than that is. Is it? You're gonna have to hold here and put a foot over under that. Yep. Wow. So there's the circuit breaker, and what we did is we tied the flow switch relay and the fans to the circuit breaker. So it's independent of the yep. other shutoffs. That way they're independent of the temperature shutoff. Got the fans there. Yeah, they're on a winter summer switch. Now, those are cheap fans. They're not the dust proof, waterproof kind. They're not gonna last long. I know that, he knows that. So we can order dust proof, waterproof fans for about, what are they? They're expensive, I know that. But before, we also then would want to, at least I would believe, is, um, yeah, our, our test today is to close this box and get it hot. But see, I've been running that at 30, you know, with under 42 C. That's Celsius. Yeah, it's, it's good. Is that normal? Feel those wires. Looks like everything's warm. Okay, because that's we're in a metal box with the sunshine. Mm -hmm. Aluminum, great conductor of heat. <laughs> so we box, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, he welded it. It was supposed to be diamond plate, and he said, "Oh, by the way, it's not going to be diamond plate." <laughs> Yeah, You're a brave man. Wow, it just looks excellent. What this is here is the relay for the temperature controller so that the light will actually turn on when it shuts off. Yeah, you need a relay to do that trick. So that's that's all that is. is we're thinking of mounting this, maybe down under here. We were going to disconnect it, but we forgot to turn the switch. <laughs> well, but not only that, because you have to turn the switch, we don't want to have to take that off every time to get our reading. So True. we thought, let's just leave it. So yeah, we're going to mount something like that. Have it there. Now I have to, while we're looking at this, I'm going to ask you, Jim took us both aside and said, as this gets dropped down here, if my KOH stays in my liquid, I could be 70% because my water's gone, but my KOH is there. Exactly. He says, if you add my, if we add water in the middle of winter, they could get a block of ice. It'll, it'll mix with how, how fast though? How fast enough that it's not gonna freeze. It's just gonna take time to freeze. Okay, because his it, concern is, Maybe we only want to go down here and put it in, put it down here and put it in. You know, just keep topping it up rather than to let it get all the way here. The driver, the driver should know to top this off every time he puts fuel in. That's so is that going to be two days? not going to be down all the way to here. Well, we're it's wondering how fast do we burn. Depends on how many amps you're running, but you, you're not going to burn very fast. Well, we're going to run it all day to see. We've marked it on the tank there. Yeah, we'll, see create a, we'll create a water level label for the driver. Full and add. This one, We want this to be an emergency. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. But his big concern was in the middle, dead of winter, at the end of the day, if he puts in water and it doesn't turn it on, you could get a block of ice in there. It's like, um, it's like food color. You know, you ever drop food coloring into water, it just kind of disperses on its own. It's, it mixes very easily. I don't think you'll have any problem. It's... Well, do, they shut, do they shut their trucks down when they get fuel? I don't know. Do they run them? I don't know. Because if it's, if it's running and he puts water in it, it's obviously going to mix really fast. Well, except it's, he won't get that cap off. It's high pressure. Like what? Two psi. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's no not a big deal. deal. I was afraid to opening that. You can open it right now. You'd be okay. Fill it up while it's running. 
Okay, so not a fear. And okay. make sure he screws down hard though. Right. Um, okay, would you also 